Welcome back to You Heard It Here with Dr. Gary. I'm Gary, a clinical audiologist and part of the ownership team here at Advanced Hearing Group in Scottsdale, Arizona. Today, we're going to look at a collapsing ear canal. Check it out. As we pull on the pinna or the outer ear, this patient's entire ear canal opens and closes. We call this a collapsing ear canal. It occurs in the outer one third of the ear canal, which is cartilaginous. This particular patient is seen about every six months for wax removal. The reason is because as their ear canal collapses shut, it affects the way the epithelial migration works and causes a blockage point that the earwax gets stuck at. Once we open up the ear canal, you can see how the ear canal gets wider. As it gets wider, that just gives kind of a choke point or a stopping point for the wax where it can't get out to fall out of the ear. We're gonna use the curette to get everything moved out of the way, giving us a beautiful view of the eardrum, helping the patient resume some of their hearing, as well as reducing the feeling of fullness or pressure in the ears. This is a pretty good shot here because you can see how narrow that opening in the ear canal is. And this is actually what's come out of the ear canal so far. Beautiful view of the eardrum. Did you know that your inner ear or your cochlea is the organ of hearing? It's a fluid filled organ that helps to transmit a fluid wave that comes from sound into an electrical potential that stimulates the auditory nerve. The ear is pretty cool. It takes a vibration in the air, turns it into a mechanical uh, energy, which then becomes a fluid dynamic energy, finally becoming an electrical potential stimulating the auditory nerve. If you like these earwax removal videos, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm and helps us get this content and educational information in front of more people. Now we're on the other side. You can see that this ear canal is not nearly as closed off as the other side. Still a little bit narrow, but not nearly as shut as the, as the left side. Okay, so we're gonna use that curette to clean this earwax out here. We're pulling it along the bottom. Again, the patient is not experiencing any discomfort or pain. We're being very gentle. Um, this is not causing any irritation for this patient. Although when you do use the manual tools as well as the suction device, it can cause some irritation. The skin in the ear canal is very thin and very sensitive. There's a pretty good view of the eardrum. Now we're just gonna use the curette to remove the remaining wax off the top of the ear canal just to finish this job off. We'll see this patient back again in about six months as that collapsing canal on the left side really forces a pretty good size buildup and it generally takes about six months worth of time. This has been You Heard It Here with Dr. Gary. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.